Well, David, there's going to be all sorts of complications because there'll be a need for secrecy because you won't want to prejudice cases that are underway or, or, or are yet to unfold. But uh, Headley Thomas, the journalist who really uncovered, started uncovering all this uh, a, a year or more ago, he's told me that he thinks this might be the biggest scandal he's ever uncovered in terms of the number of cases affected. And as you know, Headley's uncovered enormous scandals in all sorts of areas uh, of Australia over many decades. Uh, what, what's your expectation of where we're going to end up here in terms of, uh, uh, of a lack of justice in Queensland? Sadly, Chris, he's right. And the ramifications of this won't just stretch for a few days or a few weeks. It will go for months and years. And this is a mess that will have to be cleaned up. In regard to the Premier's comments, uh, there's always a disappointment or a, I'm angry or Queenslanders want answers. You want to know what else Queenslanders want? They want a little bit of leadership and they want a little bit of service delivery. And if you think about all the crises that is burning through this state at the moment, the health system is in absolute disarray. I went and spent a couple of hours today with people who have been stuck for hours waiting for ambos that didn't ever come. 45% in Queensland, the worst in the country. We have a judicial system where young offenders run riot and they just keep going on repeat. We have a housing crisis where working people can't put a roof over their head. It's one thing to always be disappointed, but eventually you've got to show a little bit of leadership as well. Well, the, the main thing is now, as you say, leadership. you've pushed the government to this position, but you're happy with the inquiry as it's unfolding? No complaints about the way it's been commissioned? This is an interim report from um, Mr Sofronoff because... The situation is so dire and justice could be so compromised that he has done this report and we haven't even started the yeah. inquiry. And just remember, this is an inquiry that the government said we were being political because we asked for it. They stonewalled and stonewalled. They didn't believe victims. They didn't believe whistleblowers. We've asked questions since last year. And boy, oh boy, it is going to rock the judicial system to its knees. Thanks so much for joining us, David. Thanks for your time.